In today's video, we're going to look at some new bushcraft tools in the Woodsman's Rucksack. Stick around, it's going to be a good video. So today I wanted to get out in the woods. Uh, the temperatures have cooled down quite a bit today. It's like in the low 70s. It was in the um, low 60s this morning, so it's really beautiful out. Uh, no humidity, and I'm back here in the woods. Uh, exploring kind of a new area that I haven't been to before and I found this little grove of trees and there's this really nice old oak that has barbed wire fence that the tree's grown through and it's, the barbed wire fence is coming through it coming out of it it's kind of cool um, that's really shady back here and cool um, bugs aren't too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little uh, little camp today make some lunch on a stove and show you some tools and some gear that I've recently received um, that I think are gonna make great bushcraft tools for my bushcraft woodsman day ruck um, pack. What I'm sporting today is from Duluth. Um, I think this is the woodsman or something like that. Really cool pack, um, I, I love it. It's pretty neat. Uh, side pockets and a bungee cord system on the front and then the whole thing opens up and opens up so you can see contents in the pack. So it's a really cool pack, but I've got some other stuff I wanna show you too. So we're gonna go through that and um, I'm gonna start making my lunch because I'm getting hungry and I'll just talk through uh, while I'm making stuff and show you some of this new gear that I got that I think are gonna make fantastic additions to your bushcraft kit. So let's get into it. First thing that I wanted to try today, um, I got this new, um, ground cloth um, from Colorado Bushcraft. They make a lot of custom canvas and uh, some leather goods. They have all kinds of cool stuff, haversacks and all kinds of pouches, but they have this really, but they have these really cool ground cloths. And um, I found this one on Instagram. They're having a sale and um, can't, I'll have to look up the dimensions, but man, this thing is super nice because it's all multicam black Cordura. It's got um, grommets along the outer perimeter so you can stake it down. But I thought that would be a perfect um, heavy duty ground cloth that I can lay on the, on the ground when I'm sitting and doing my cooking and my um, setting up on my camp. Um, and then since it's Cordura, um, I can treat it, I can wash it, I can scrub it, um, and it's heavy duty so twigs aren't going to pop through it. Um, it should be perfect for this application. I'm really looking forward to using it because I think it's a pretty neat looking piece of kit. And I've always got a foam pad to sit on and kneel on. And that gives that pack some structure too. Gloves, gotta have gloves. Um, if you're working with tools out in the woods. So I got my pack, I've got my Wildo um, mess kit and it comes with a really nice spork and then I've added this Ozark Trail folding cup and I got a couple hot sauce packets in there then I've got my cook pot this is um, from Boundless Voyage you've probably seen it in some other my other videos that I've made I actually did a review on it a long time ago but it is titanium but what's awesome about this thing is it has a bale has handles it will fit uh, a Nalgene Oasis canteen perfectly um, and I think even the military issue canteens will fit in this perfectly so you can use this as a canteen kit but it also comes with this really cool stove stand so you can build a fire underneath that or use alcohol stove or um, you know, fire starting cubes, espit tabs, something like that. So really cool. Of course, just a first aid kit, nothing special there. And then for lunch today, we are gonna be doing some Chapaghetti Zhejiang noodles. That's from uh, Nong Shim. And then I think a perfect addition to that would be uh, Tuna Creation, spicy Korean style. So. That's lunch. And 
And then the stove I'm going to use, because I don't want to start a fire out here on the ground. Um, <clears throat> but I got the stove. And it, I know you guys are going to ask me about this thing. I want to know where I got it at and where can I get one. I've, had, I've shown this in another video. This I actually got off of Timu. Um, and it was super cheap, like, I don't know, 11, 12 bucks. But it's stainless steel. Um, and I'll put this together and you guys can see this thing. But it's pretty cool. And I'll show you some tricks with it. But um, I've been using this lately. And I really like it. I like the size of it. And um, it's just a cool stove. So we'll set that up. And then um, the one thing that I definitely want to mess with today is this new BPS knives. Um, I think this is the Wolverine is what they call it. If you're unfamiliar with BPS knives, um, they are out of the Ukraine and they make some really nice um, budget-friendly uh, bushcraft knives. This is one of their bigger ones. Um, it has a really nice um, handle oak and a sharpened spine and uh, a decent scandy grind on this thing. And I think this, this is the stainless version. They also have a high carbon steel version as well. And it comes with a really nice leather dangler sheath with a matching ferro rod. So um, fantastic budget bushcraft package right there. And if you're a woodsman, you got to have a good knife. And BPS is definitely worth checking out. Then here is, this is from Centerline Systems. This is the um, their tool roll. And uh, what I got in here is really my my kind of emergency shelter kit so this opens up and you're able to hang this from a ridge line or off of a branch but what's fantastic about this is it holds my five by seven camo tarp this is from um, etowah so that's a good size tarp for an emergency tarp or a day tarp in this pocket I've got my stakes and these stakes actually came with that tarp and then I also have 550 cord and here I've got some bank line and then down here I've got some guy lines already set up kind of pre-rigged so, so a really nice way to organize your shelter system uh, the centerline system tool rolls are just awesome. And I lucked out and found one in, in multicam black, so it matches my ground tarp, which is kind of cool. About the only other thing that I've got, um, I, I recently received this Camp Craft Outdoors bag. And what this is, this goes with my grail. And um, I'm, it allows me to fill this with dirty water and then drip this into the grail so it's filtering out all the gunk. Um, that's one thing I didn't have. Um, I did a video on the grail as a great option for a lightweight uh, day hiking kit and I still stand by that the grail is a fantastic filter to put in your day kit. Um, but if you do get a grail, I highly suggest getting one of these bags. And then other tools, um, I always have my Baco with me the Baco Laplander as for um, my day kit. Um, I like the size of it, <clears throat> fantastic saw, performs very well. I had this one for many, many years. You can replace the blade. Uh, they also come in orange and green, so you can pick your color, but it is a fantastic uh, bushcraft tool. Very lightweight and very durable. The newest addition to my kit is this um, hardcore hammer naturalist hatchet um, i don't have any experience with this company really didn't know much about them but i've seen them online i always thought they were kind of interesting because they're really it's it, it looks like um, a carpenter's hatchet in that it has you know a hammer on the end it has the nail puller and then it, of course a very sharp um, hatchet blade but i like the length of it and um, i was able to pick this up um, fairly cheaply off the secondary market. A uh, guy I knew had it and was getting rid of it and I got it for a good price. So I thought, well, what the heck? I think it'd be a good size. Now I did a little splitting with it. There's not a lot of wood that I can split back here without cutting down some stuff and I don't want to do that. Um, and the wood is a little punky, so it was kind of soft. 
So probably not the best test, but I really like the length of the handle. Um, it's perfect for a day kit, for a day pack. Um, and then, it, you know, I think there's good capability with this uh, for limbing, um, for shelter building, driving stakes, um, just a lot of different applications. So I think it's gonna be a great tool. All right, now we're gonna build the stove. A little finicky. Tell you I'm gonna go hungry. Try and build the stove. It's the only bad thing about these jigsaw puzzle stoves. I hate these things because a stove that is hinged is so much better. Now the flaw with the stove is this. So the grate, really nice grate, right? You can cook you can cook a steak on this. Nice size. And I like the the shape of that firebox that holds a lot of wood and it's got good airflow from the bottom and the sides. But here's the problem. Getting um, any kind of sizable wood inside this thing while you're cooking on it, you can't do it because the grate is covering it. Um, there is a little bit of area right in here that you could sneak some sticks in, but you risk, uh, risk the possibility of knocking over your pot. So what I um, have done uh, before is put the grate like this. So I have my pot on it. I can still feed wood into it. Um, I think that'll work out pretty well. Um, but then if I wanted to grill like a big piece of meat, like a steak or some brats or something, I would have to go back to this configuration. I got room now on the side that I can actually feed this a little bit. And I can move the sticks more underneath.
So with these canvas packs from like Duluth and Frost River and some others, um, there usually isn't a frame sheet. Uh, the padding on the shoulder straps is very minute. I mean, it's basically just strap material. There's really no padding. Um, usually no load lifters, waist belts, sternum straps, all that other stuff. So these are a very bare bones um, backpack, but they're designed after um, very historic um, canoe packs and woodsman's packs and rucksacks from way back in the day um, that's been around forever. Um, but they've just been modernizing them with better and better canvas material. And, you know, I'm not doing um, overnights with big sleeping bags and tents and things like that. Uh, this is a day pack. That's um, the intent for me. So it just has some essential items so I can go out, go on a hike, uh, do some scouting, exploring like I'm doing today, pack a few tools, pack some lunch, and some water and I'm good to go. So that's all it's meant to do. Um, and this works perfectly for that. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here. Um, check out the affiliate links down below. Uh, that helps the channel. Check out the Amazon store if you're interested in some of this gear. Um, check out the Facebook group, 11,000 members growing every day. Lots of content, a lot of people posting photos and videos and stories and things like that. And then also check out preparedwanderer.com as the central nerve center for Prepared Wanderer articles, blog articles, um, links to the big cartel site if you're interested in patches and stickers, links to the videos. So always new content being added to that site every day and that helps the channel quite a bit. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get out of here. We'll see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer.